Hello everybody, this is Peyton again here on YouTube, um, I, and I want to share my uh, Art Snacks testimony, um, as a few of my fellow live feeders, fr friends on Art Snacks live feed suggested that I do, and here I am. So here's my Art Snacks testimony. A little over a year ago, I was using stuff ordinary everyday stuff like master's touch acrylics these spectrum noir art liner pens ranging from zero zero five nibs to the brush nib and faber castell graphite pencils stuff that you can get from hobby lobby and that was when i first started painting but ever since November 2019, I signed up for Art Snacks back in little in, in October 2019. But um, I got my first box, which was the November 2019 box, which was a little, little ways around Christmas time. And uh, I have fancy neat stuff like this Tombow monograph pencil which is a mechanical pencil and well I also have stuff like this Plumchester 0.5 mechanical pencil it was not till recently that I found out the co-founders of Art Snacks, Sarah and Lee Rubenstein. Um, also, Plumchester is their brand that they use, which is run by Art Snacks. And uh, I have a couple of nice markers that I feature in videos. These are the Tombow Ad Pro markers from the uh, Tombow bonus box back in March. Within those years, I was in, out in town doing shopping at Tuesday morning in my neighboring city of Monroe, Louisiana. So I bought these nifty little markers from King Art Incorporated right out of New York City to, because I figured it was time to add a splash of color to my um, sketches and my drawings. So I've been using King Arts ever since. These are really good pencils. I rely on these then what am I saying? They're not pencils. These are really good pens to use. Um, I highly recommend using them. Um, you can get these pens from the Art Snack Shop. I also have a couple, a couple of other cool stuff in here. Um, right around December, the Art Snacks Build Your Own Box sale was um, alive and available for shopping which where you can cr create your own box and curate your own box one of these products in my build your own box was this derwent two-in-one pencil sharpener and eraser and as you can tell this eraser gets a lot of love I use this all the time during live streams, so this is one go-to product that I use. With the Plumchester Mechanical Pencil, I got the eraser and lead refills, which is in this top pocket right here. And uh, this is stuff from my personal bag. This I ordered from the Art Snacks shop as well. This is the large pencil case from Art Snacks, which is part of their official merchandise. Hmm. 
My first box from Odd Snacks featured the Faber Castell Eco Pigment Pen, which is in here somewhere. Here it is. The Faber Castell Eco Pigment Pen. Uh, crap, what was in that box? Keep all the little menus from Odd Snacks in a um, baggie or a plastic bag. I gotta find this. Uh, so can you pick the micron? This is King Art. This is January. Here's, this is the November box. Uh, I got the Liquitex Professional Soft Body Acrylic, which is in this um, white cabinet behind me. Uh, the Princeton Velvet Touch Series 3950 Synthetic Brush. And uh, it happens to be one of my favorite brushes that I went to another town and got the same brush from Hobby Lobby, except bigger. The Princeton Velva Touch is this little brush right here. And uh, it's the flat shader. And this, this is a little stiff. I just used this yesterday. This is the Princeton Velvet Touch wash brush, which I thought was gonna be the same material from this, but it's hard as a rock. Oh well, it still feels comfortable in my hand. And along with the Faber Castell Eco Pigment Pen, I got the Zebra Metallic Brush Pen. So that was my first um, box. And here's the Zebra Pen. This was my first box. And I got the December box which I didn't cover in the last video, so we're just gonna go over that. Where's the... I just dropped my brush. Zebra Metallic, King Art, August. December is the Cure Take Zig Wink of Luna Metallic Brush Pen, which I use every now and often, but not all the time. Here it is. So this is the Wink of Luna Pen. It looks like a cosmetic product, but it's truly not. It's a brush pen. Uh, the Edding 1880 Draw Liner, which I just saw a few minutes ago. Oh, this is kind of good. It is. Here's the Edding 1880 Draw Liner. This is um, the 0.8 nib. Karen Brush Marker Pro, which is this right here. These markers are featured on the Universe of Markers Instagram page. And the last one is the Cure Take Zig. I think it's pronounced Cure Talkie. Or 
I call it Cure Take. Um, this is the Cure Take Zig White Cartoonist Brush Pen, which is not with me. It's in another font, another. This that's a product I rarely ever use. Um, here's the cartoonist brush pen. This is one I don't use because it's kind of complicated to care for. I don't think I talked about the January 2020 box. That was the November and December 2019 boxes, my first two boxes. Uh, let me get January here. Here, May, March. This is November. There's January. Here's the January um, box, the January 2020 box. The I have the Sinley um, Abstract Acrylic 3D Liner. And this is this right here, this little thing. This can be refillable with paint from Sennelier. The Marabou Art Crown, which is this right here. All of these products I'm showing can be found in the Art Snack Shop, BTW. Tombow Mono Drawing Pencil. I just saw it a few minutes ago. Here we go. This is the Tombow Mono Drawing Pencil. This is the first product that introduced me to the brand Tombow. And the last one is the King Art Original Gold Teflon. This is this is the brush I use. I use my brushes a lot, so these brushes have a little bit of wear and tear. Anyway, those are my first three boxes that I don't think I remember covering in uh, separate videos. Anyway, back on to my um, art snack test money. Um, again, I announced I was using cheap stuff from the art and craft store. Um, my favorite um, brands as far as brushes are is, is really the Princeton and King Art brushes. I tend to use the Royal and Lang, Lang Nickel brush, which is this every once in a while. This came in the March box, I think. By the way, this eraser, also, this pencil sharpener also came in the um, Bill Joan box. Now, since I signed up for Art Snacks, I'm using these. I'm getting introduced to um, art supply companies and brands that I've never even heard of before, like um, Carondosh, Edding, Graphit, Rembrandt, Sakura, Fire I knew about a couple of these before I signed up. But my favorite brands, um, as far as art supplies go, is Tombow, which has become a recent favorite of mine. 
uh, King Art and Faber Castell. I have lots of products from Faber Castell that I got in boxes. And uh, my favorite brand as far as watercolors go is Winsor & Newton, which is on this list. But my favorite uh, mechanical pencil is the one from Plumchester which is the Funchester Mechanical Pencil, which is in my little personal bag right here. So, I'm now using these fine quality products from foreign countries. Like this, Vi the Viarco pencil I have is from Holland. Bronzeal is, I think, from somewhere, probably Japan. The, the graphic marker I have is made in Japan, so. That's pretty much my, I wanted to sign up for Art Snacks because I wanted to experiment with new products, which some of them I ended up loving and use on a daily basis. And uh, I got introduced to Mix which was an option to me, but I chose to. Um, I signed up for Art Snacks Mix for free, which you can sign up at mix.artsnacks.co. And you can sign up even if you don't have a active subscription with Art Snacks. I have the regular Art Snacks box, which I pay 24 bucks a month for. There is another option, however, Art Snacks Plus, which uh, gives you more art supplies and a surface to work on. That is $39 a month. So, um, that is pretty much my testimony. Um, thank y'all for watching. Um, stay safe. Um, our stay-at-home order here in Louisiana has been extended to May 15th or 18th, which sucks, but um, I'm just going along day by day. So thank y'all for watching. Um, stay safe. If you absolutely must get out, wear a mask. And, uh, Use lots of hand sanitizer. Thank y'all. And have a blessed day.